Hi, this is Sarah Lacey from TechCrunch TV, and I'm here with Tony Fidel, the CEO and co-founder of Nest. Um, so, finally, we get to see what you've been up to. Finally, after about a year and a half of being very stealth, we are now coming alive to the world, showing what we have. So, for people who don't know, you had quite a famous job before this. I, I had a, a, quite an amazing job. I got to have two dream jobs in, in one job. So you're called the godfather of the iPod. Well, the <laughs> iPod was, was a team effort, but yes, I, I led the team that created uh, 18 generations of the iPod and then three generations of the iPhone. Mm -hmm. So you have this amazing run building some of the you know, most phenomenal tech products our, you know, our generation has ever seen, things people adore. You leave Apple. You're in retirement for three years. You come out of retirement. Everyone's excited. You're in stealth for a year and a half, and you're doing thermostats. Right, thermostats with a big question mark. <laughs> Why thermostats? <laughs> Why would you do such a crazy thing? Well, about three years ago, when we when we left Apple, we had young um, young kids. My wife and I both left Apple, and uh, we wanted to change our lives. We wanted to have a green lifestyle and mm -hmm. make sure we educated our kids that way. And so we started to you know, make the necessary personal changes in our life. And then we started designing a home in Tahoe that was going to be green. So we were adding solar panels and we were putting in geothermal wells, doing everything. And uh, one day my architect came with a specification for a heating and cooling system for the home. And uh, it was a very expensive system with expensive thermostats on there. I was like, well, these thermostats, wow, that's how I'm going to control them. $350, $350 thermostats, I was like, mm -hmm. well, those are expensive. Those have to be incredibly nice given, right. you know, iPods and iPhones and those things. And I looked at them and I was like, wait a second, this looks like a beige box from the 90s. It was, uh -huh. looked like a computer before the iMac. I was like, <laughs> There's got to be something better. So I quickly scan the web. I said, get out of the way. I'm going to go find something better. Mm -hmm. And I found about 350 different thermostats that all looked about the same and worked about the same with mm -hmm. different feature sets, but none of them seemed to be any good. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I think I'll design my own. Uh -huh. So I started designing my own. What would it look like? Mm -hmm. And how would it be different? And was the aesthetic what you cared about first and foremost? Was it the functionality? Was it... Well, I care about, I, well, they were all ugly. So you right. had, to, when, you, when you're building a, a, a house and you want it to look beautiful and you worry about everything from the kitchen detail, what kind of stove you're going to get, what kind of refrigerator, right. what's the, the countertop's going to look like, you care about what's every, every detail. Uh -huh. And this was one deal I couldn't, I couldn't fix. I couldn't <laughs> just select something from, yeah. the, from, the, from the shelf and say, okay, that's the best thing. So I just started designing my own. And... Uh, it just slowly, it slowly evolved, and I found out it was a very complicated problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like intrigued, and I thought, who is going to actually make this kind of product? It's, it's a sophisticated product. It's almost a cell phone. It's a cell phone with a little heating and cooling technology. Mm -hmm. Who knows how to make cell phones? Do any of the current thermostat guys know how to make cell phones? Mm -hmm. No. It's hard enough to make a, a cell phone a good cell phone, let yeah, alone an iPhone. a lot of cell iPhone. phone companies aren't very good at it. That's correct. <laughs> so I was like, wait a second. This sounds like a really great project. So I'm going to keep embarking on it. And uh, I was like, wow, this is going to turn out pretty cool. But is this something really worthwhile to spend my time on? Yeah. It, does it really, can it really save energy? And is it really a great business? And both of those things turned out to be very true. Mm-hmm. The, uh, if you look at how much energy is used or is controlled by the, uh, the thermostat, over 50% of your home's energy is controlled by a thermostat. Mm -hmm. That's an, an average home, a small home, is $1,200 a year on heating and cooling bills. Mm -hmm. And it can be a thousand, a thousands more for larger homes. Right. And that's a thermostat. This dumb device uh -huh. that no one likes, no one loves, no one cherishes, <laughs> controls this big part of your energy budget. You're uh -huh. like, that doesn't sound right, so let's make it a cherished item. Secondly, uh, if you look at the, um, at the issues with the design of the product, they're just very, very difficult to use. And so I was like, we've got to be able to have a really great interface on this, so mm -hmm. let's make it simple to use. And let's make it simple to use for not just the person who pays the bills, who's concerned mm -hmm. about the bills, but let's make sure that everyone in the house, the kids, the, the other people who use the house, understand what energy costs and can right. actually affect it right at the point of where you use the energy. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. 
So did you know you wanted to come out of retirement and do something? I mean, I, you've talked a little bit about deciding to do this and turn it into a business, but was it hard for you to come out of retirement and do anything? I mean, how do you follow up the experience that you'd had at Apple? Well, you know, I got to live the dream twice. And so you didn't want to go and do the same thing over. You know, uh -huh. you got, I got the, all the typical calls from all the com competition. Come and do what you did over here. And I was like, there's no way I'm doing that. Actually, I promised Steve I wouldn't do that. And mm -hmm. so I'm not going to do that. But this was such an intriguing problem. And it was just slightly different than what I've done. Mm -hmm. that, and, and that's how we actually were able to build the team. It was slightly different than what everyone's doing. They were like, of course, this makes total sense. Right. Take all of our skill sets that we've gained over decades and reapply them. So mm -hmm. it just became a natural, like, we need to do this. Uh -huh. And everyone, it became a mission. Right. It became a crazy mission. Now, I could see an almost Saturday Night Live skit of you walking around the world and seeing lots of ugly things and saying, I'm going to build a cherished version of this. I mean, there's a lot of ugly things that we interact with that no one has ever taken the time to update. Had you gone through this sort of thought experiment with things before thermostats? Yes. Yeah, actually, I did. I, I looked at all kinds of different categories. And I, just, and I would say, oh, that's an interesting thing. Let's revolutionize it. And then, OK, there's some cool things we can do to it. But is it, does it really make a difference? Mm -hmm. And then, is it really a great business? And you have to come up with all three of those sections to be filled out and say, this is, this is a great reason to do it. And so thermostats control a lot of energy. It's a really tough problem. And if you look at the business, there's over a quarter of a billion thermostats installed in the US in residential and light commercial. Mm -hmm. Quarter of a billion. Mm -hmm. So that's a big installed base. Right. Right? That's as many as cell phones. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the numbers sold a year, that's 10 million residential thermostats are sold a year. That's more than refrigerators, stoves, washers, dryers, dishwashers, mm -hmm. almost as much as bicycles mm -hmm. and TVs. Mm -hmm. It's more than video cameras and more than these media products. Right. So you're like, it may not be as large as an iPhone business, but it's a pretty damn good business at 10 million units a year. Uh -huh. So it's like, okay, the three sections are filled out. It can, it can help save energy, can be an interesting, difficult pro problem that I can apply my experiences to, and it looks like it's a great business. Right. So... You know, I'm 35 years old. I've never walked into a store and thought, I need to buy a thermostat. I've never bought a thermostat for anywhere right, that I live. Right. Are you going to turn this into a consumer-driven category? Are people going to be walking into stores and saying, I, you know, I need a Nest? Well, that is the big difference. I think if you look at the products and how they're designed today, they're designed for contractors. The reason why there isn't a lot of differentiation is because they're designed for contractors that just come to your house and say, here's what I have. Let's put it on your wall. Right. We decided we need to have the conversation with the person who actually puts it on their wall, who actually says, I want that thing, which is the consumer, mm -hmm. right? We wanted to make sure that the iPhone generation can know, understand that they can select one of these types of devices, and hopefully they select ours. So mm -hmm. our marketing is all, and our product design, all of our messaging is geared for the end user, mm -hmm. not for the contractor channel, not for you know, HVAC installers, it's for consumers so they can learn that there might be a better way of controlling their energy in their home. Mm -hmm.